Hi, I'm John, the Let's Community Currency Engineer, and I'm going to be reading about a proposal to add a Let's system to the Madison Hours system in Madison, Wisconsin, by John Hain. Good idea. I hope I can be able to tell you what happened soon. A proposal to add a LET system to Madison Hours, February 6, 2009, posted by John Hain at the MadisonHours.org website. I'm interested in adding a LET's local exchange trading system component to Madison Hours. I intend to submit a formal proposal to move forward on this in the next couple of weeks. In the meantime, I'd love to hear from members with ideas or concerns in order to make sure any potential pitfalls are addressed. First, a little background on LETS. The concept was developed in 1983 as a means to trade goods and services locally without the need for printed money. Well, you can use printed money too. Like ours, they are meant to coexist as a complement to US dollars, not as a replacement. Let's are considered a mutual credit system, which would help us overcome some of the issues related to ours being a fiat currency. The way I'm picturing Let's working with our ours system is that each member would get an account on our website that they can use to track their Let's credits. Each credit would be equivalent to one hour. Members would have the option when signing up or renewing to receive their hours disbursement as either Piper hours or Let's credits in their account. Well, how about both? Further, members could mail hours to our office to have them converted to Let's credits if they felt that the credits were easier to spend. Have both. I imagine that doing so would be a real benefit to our business members. It sure would. My hope is to get member approval for this and then implement it next time we redo our website, which will probably be late spring, early summer. One of the reasons I'm interested in adding LETS to our system is that it allows people to have a deficit in their account. With ours, trade is often slow because hours need to be earned before they can be spent, and everybody only starts with four of them. With LETS, the money, credits, are created whenever needed for a transaction. Therefore, it would overcome the scarcity issue that I feel holds back the potential for Madison Hours to function as a community level safety net. Same for Ithaca Hours, another dinky toy model. I mean, I have more money at my local poker game, $10,000 on the table, than these people. They have $400 in 10 people. It's trivial. Especially businesses should have more credit than four hours, 40 bucks, right? That's the nutshell. As I mentioned, I'll be submitting a formal proposal which will be voted on by the membership. At that time, I also intend to make a couple of other proposals that I feel will make Madison Hours a more user-friendly and viable system of exchange. If you have any thoughts, pro or con, please contact me or leave a comment here. Well, it's a good idea, John Hain. Keep pushing for it. Maybe you can tell me what happened, and then I'll redo this video and add a few more points. But in a nutshell, a LET system does allow people to have a much bigger credit line, allows them to do far more trading than everybody starting with 40 bucks in chips, and pretty soon very few people have any spare to work with. So give it a shot. I hope it works, and tell me what happened.